control room operators actually use PipeBot. We had a demo video before, but let's just go through it again. So, so how do control room operators actually use PipeBot? So um, here you can see the line display. So your typical control room operator in SCADA, a typical control room operator in SCADA has this line display. So they have, you know, for each pump station along, you know, kind of listed uh, vertically here, they have, um, you know, their, their suction pressure, their discharge pressure, their flow rates, right, all across the top, and they're just reading it like in columns. It's super overwhelming when you first look at it, like really not easy to operate, um, but that's how control room operators are used to seeing it. That's how they're trained. So. How do control operators use PipeBot? Well, none of that changes. So their existing training training regime um, for them to become OQ'd or operator qualified on these pipeline systems is the exact same, right? So you just have this new screen that comes up and you select and put in your target flow rate and, like, and your operation. So if you're gonna start up, you click enter and then your control room operator can watch the line display that they're already completely trained on, they can watch PipeBot manipulate on their behalf. Then they've also got their, you know, their hydraulic profile, so they can watch that as well. Very familiar, nothing looks or feels different for them. And that's the goal, right? The goal here is to reduce their workload, not give them new screens. I think I've said it before and I'll say it again. <laughs> I've sat in that seat, I've trained. The last thing I want is another screen telling me what to do. So people are like, oh, it needs to be supervisory, it's safer. It's like, no, these guys know how to operate this. So in summary, how do control room operators use PipeBot? The whole goal is for it to be as simple as possible for them to use, right? Like they're already trained on, either operator qualified, OQ'd on these SCADA systems to operate these pipelines. You know, let's not make it more complex. That's the point. Let's automate it. Let's make a simple interface that already exists in their SCADA system. You know, they don't need more screens to enable them to be more effective, right? You always need the pilot. You just want autopilot software. So yeah, so that's how control room operators use PipeBot, right? As simple as possible, lowering their workload and all the other wonderful value props I've talked about.